Hey, Randy, almost time to record. Ready to do our radio warm-ups? Absolutely. You go first. Non-stop back-to-back stone smashes the all-time heavyweight hits from yesterday, today, and tomorrow, my man. I can dig it. Chasing the flows, just minutes from those. Swag it, groove it, and fan your news. I'm Steve McClellan. And I'm Randy Hodgins. And that little bit of breathless fun was courtesy of Bob Hudson and Ron Landry, better known as Hudson and Landry, top 40 DJs whose comedy skits launched them from an L.A. morning radio show to the top of the Billboard charts. Before teaming up, both Hudson and Landry had successful individual careers. Bob Hudson was better known to listeners as Emperor Hudson, who mixed great voice work with eccentric ad-libbed riffs on matters large and small. His act was unique and indelible. George Lucas's first film was actually a short biography of Emperor Bob doing his thing. Ron Landry was a top 40 jock with a gift for writing sketch comedy. As a young DJ in the Washington, D.C. market, he immersed himself in the work of humorist Gene Shepard and the comedy team of Bob and Ray. Ron rose quickly in the Top 40 radio, eventually spending three years at Boston's WBZ before moving to Los Angeles in 1969. When Bob and Ron teamed up at L.A.'s KGBS radio in 1971, their chemistry was undeniable, and their show, which mixed comedy sketches with music and banter, drew big ratings. One of those sketches, Ajax Liquor Store, was released on the small Dory label, and it became a breakout hit, earning a Grammy nomination. Let's take a listen. You can find, I'll turn a big red light on. You You'll can't miss it. Red light on, okay. Uh, yep. There's a big statue of a brindle great Dane dog out front. <laughs> You're not going to bite, is he? No, he's just a statue. Just a statue, okay. <laughs> we got five-fifths tequila, five-fifths of scotch, two cases of beer, one case of 16-ounce can. No vermouth. No vermouth. I wouldn't send vermouth. <laughs> In one case, that's quite an order. Are you having a party? Huh? Are you having a party? No, uh, I'm just trying to work up the nerve to go to confession. <laughs> <laughs> the Hudson and Landry formula was simple. Ron would write a sketch that played to Bob's voice acting chops. The ones that clicked on air would eventually be recorded in an uproarious live session at the Pomona National Golf and Country Club, where the booze flowed liberally. Production values? Who needs them? Beyond a few simple sound effects. Case in point, Bob and Ron's take on an obscene telephone bust. Well, the department's gonna see to it you don't call no more women and use words like and 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 I can't even read this one. That's Flatfoot. After splitting up, Bob Hudson returned to solo radio gigs before retiring in the late 1980s. Ron Landry became a highly successful sitcom writer for shows such as Flo and Benson. You can find out more about Hudson and Landry and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. 